news overseas this morning. Here is the very latest on the war in Israel between Israel and Gaza. The power authority in Gaza says its only power plant will fully run out of fuel within hours, leaving the territory without electricity after Israel cut off supplies. The news came as Palestinians scrambled to find safety with Israel intensifying airstrikes, Israel vowing to escalate its response to Saturday's deadly surprise attack by Hamas. Today marks the fifth day of this new war. Already more than 2,000 people have died with thousands more wounded. And the White House confirms at least 14 of those killed are Americans. CBS News' Naomi Ruckham joins us now with more on the fighting and the international response. Israel conducted hundreds of airstrikes on suspected Hamas targets late last night into this morning. Attempts by Hamas to launch rockets into Israel were mostly intercepted by Iron Dome defense systems. Military officials say dozens of Israeli battalions have been stationed near Gaza in preparation for a possible ground assault. Israel is also sending tanks to its border with Lebanon. We've never seen such savagery in the history of the state. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and President Joe Biden discussed U.S. support yesterday. We stand with Israel. And we will make sure Israel has what it needs to take care of its citizens, defend itself, and respond to this attack. The first U.S. shipment of weapons has already arrived in Israel, and defense officials say a small group of U.S. special forces are on the ground there to help with planning and intelligence. The Pentagon has also released new images of the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, which has been repositioned to the eastern Mediterranean Sea to deter other nations from taking advantage of the fighting. Meanwhile, in Gaza, residents search for survivors of the latest Israeli air attacks. At this time, for all of this to come to an end for the sake of everyone. The United Nations says 200,000 people in Gaza have been displaced since the conflict began.